hello everyone so let us modify the get features method as you can see here the statement is going to return as the list of cucumber feature so first of all I'm going to create a local list feature list equal to this statement also I will create one more list modified list equal to new array list and this is the list which I'm going to return and in this list we will have the feature file information after the filtering so as you can see here this is a list okay so if I want to do a filtering I need to have a loop which will iterate throughout this list also as you can see here there is a object of type cucumber feature so inside this class there is a variable of type feature which will contain the information so based on which we are going to do the filtering so first of all I need to have a for loop so for each cucumber feature inside our feature list okay and here I will put a if check so let's say during the runtime I just want to run this particular feature so I'll just take the name specify here dot equals ignoring case and here I will use cucumber feature which is this one inside this there is a method called get garrican feature and inside this there is a method called get name which will return the name of the feature during the runtime so which is this in our case so if this condition is true first let me print a string at the console so got the object and I'm going to add that object inside our modified list dot add cucumber feature okay so as I told you inside this cucumber feature that is this class there is a, a variable called feature which contain the information about the feature that is what is its name what is description what is ID and so on so if I go here hurricane feature this will return as the feature and you can see here name description ID and so on so I'm just putting a comparison that if this particular name is present in any of the feature file then just add that particular object in the modifier list and return that so during the runtime we will have a filtering on this name and only one object will be returned which will be picked up for the execution so once this is done I will open my custom generic runner and do a right click run as test ng test so you can see here got the object and the feature which it picked for execution is the JavaScript which we supplied over here in the filter here but as you can see here it will pick up all the feature file which is at this particular location and based on the filtering which we added it will just execute one so the execution is done and as I told you we have applied the filter that's why it picked up only one of the feature for the execution now as you can see here we have hard coded the feature name which is not a good approach so the next approach which we are going to discuss is to read the feature name from a JVM argument so first of all just do a right click on this go as run run configuration if you are not getting the run configuration here then just create a new one from here so in the JVM argument I will use hyphen D which is used to supply the VM argument and here I will specify the variable name as feature name equal to inverted comma so let's say this time I want to run webdriver wait function so this is the name so run configuration custom generic runner vm argument hyphen d feature name equal to s and this is again user defined the feature name which is a variable name here I will create a variable of type string value equal to system dot get property 
So this is the way you can read the VM argument and supply the variable name. And I can specify this over here. So just do a right click on this one. Run as run configuration. Go to the VM argument, specify your feature name and run it. So you can see your webdriver wait function. So the execution is done. If I want to run different feature, just do a right click run as run configuration. In the VM argument, just specify the feature name over here. 